What's going on guys? We are back with another uh, pop report update. This is going to be number 53 going over May 23rd through May 29th. So we will just jump right into it. PSA this week graded a total of 245,576 cards. Um, all time high. The previous all time high was 244. So this one beat it by almost a thousand cards. Um, the biggest surprise here was TCG right here. Uh, last week they graded 71,000 cards, which which was a huge number. And this week they graded 117,049 cards in TCG. So huge, huge TCG week for PSA. Um, I, I just don't know uh how they could be grading this many cards it's just insane right i mean we 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 all kind of know at this point but 245 for psa crazy amount um so all right moving on to csg csg graded a total of 21,018 cards uh, which is an increase by 6,732 from uh, last week. Uh, their biggest jump was baseball, jumped from 5,400 to almost 9,600. So that saw a significant increase in baseball cards for CSG, which, you know, makes sense. I mean, we're, um, you know, kind of in the baseball season now. Uh, basketball saw an increase by 740, and then football by a uh, li little bit over 1,200 cards, bringing their all-time total up to 887,000 cards. CG CGC, which is a sister company of CSG, uh, they grade Pokemon and Magic. Uh, this week they graded 18,249 cards, which is a slight decrease from last week by uh, 3,500 cards, bringing their all-time total up to 1.5 million cards. So, not too bad. Moving on to the grading companies. Um, Peer Graded X, no update. So their all-time total still sits at 5,125. And that's just a rough guesstimate. If anyone looks at their pop report, they'll see that their pop report is just, uh, it's not very clean. So that's my best estimate on what their all-time total is. Uh, HGA uh, graded a total of 5,361 cards this week, which is a decrease from last week by 544 cards, bringing their all-time total up to 314,135 cards. So uh, HGA has opened up their submission process again. So if you're interested in submitting to HGA, you are now able to do so once again and from what i can see from their um website they do not have a cap a weekly cap as they used to have 3500 weekly cap so we'll see scg forensic card grading graded a total of 549 cards this week which is a uh increase from last week by 215 cards bringing their all-time total up to 17,998 cards Moving on to TGT, no update. All-time total still sits at 2,674. DGA, uh, Dynamic Grading Authority. Uh, last week, they were at the Dallas Card Show, so uh, they couldn't provide me an update. But this week, uh, for the last two weeks, they've graded a total of 1,051 cards and bringing up their uh, all-time total up to 17,799 cards. TGA, the grading authority, uh, graded a total of 1,743 cards, which is an increase, almost double from previous week of 870, bringing their all-time total up to 33,740 cards. Moving on to ACE grading out of UK, uh, they graded a total of 95 cards this week, which is a decrease from last week by 62 cards, bringing their all-time total up to 5,671 cards. Uh, from what I can see, Ace Grading mostly specializes like in Pokemon and stuff, so 
just something to just keep keep an eye on if you're uh, from the UK, you know, area, uh, England area, and um, you know you want to agree with them. Cool, right? And then the new company I added for the week is TCGC Trading Cards Grading Company. Um, they graded a total of 139 cards this week, and their all-time total on their pop report is 2,032 cards. Spoke with the owner, um, you know, we message each other on Facebook, and so uh, I should be getting weekly updates going forward. So, all right. Moving on to Com C, uh, Com C uh, increased their total number of unique um, uh, cards by 5,347 cards this week. So tons of uh, new cards being added, uh, which is still you know a little bit lower. I mean, every week has been going down right here by 24. 24,000, 16,000, 9,000, then we're down to 5,000, but still they keep adding. And then moving on to My Slabs. Uh, My Slabs added a total of 500 graded cards to their website from last week. Uh, raw cards, they added 135 cards. Raw card lots actually decreased by 22. And then um, uh, sold items, they sold a total of 1,052 items last week, which is the slab to raw and raw card lots. Uh, which is a decrease of 292 from last week. So uh, I'll probably do a vi video on this, um, hopefully this week, but uh, my slabs ever since I've been keeping track of them has been selling less and less every week. So um, just a red flag in my books, right? Uh, just something to keep, keep, keep an eye on. Um, so if you're interested in selling on my slabs, uh, I sell quite quite a bit. Well, I say quite a bit, but not you know I'm not a big seller. But uh, for someone that does this part time, you know I've sold maybe 25 items on my slab in the last couple of months or so. So it's not too bad. So uh, one percent fees can't beat it. So that's it. That's it for this uh, week, guys. Um, happy Memorial Day, you know, for uh, everyone who who served and, uh, you know, do, did all that good stuff, you know, right? Um, hopefully, um, you know, you guys had, had a good ho holiday this weekend. So, all right, guys, that's it. Thank you very much. Take care. And talk to you later.